You are the fake Chad. Steven? Grace? Steven? Oh shoot, let me out. Oh, oh shoot, the lights went out. I, I can't get out. What's going on guys? If you've been following the events of Project Zorgo on YouTube, you'll know that a lot has happened so far and it can be quite difficult to keep up with it all. So this is a quick video to bring you up to speed with what's been happening this week. Before we get started, let's take a vote. If you want the YouTubers to win, give this video a thumbs up. If you want Project Zorgo to win, hit the thumbs down. That way we can see how many people are on each team. And if you guys want to keep up with the latest Project Zorgo news, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's get into the video. So first up, Stephen and Grace and Matt and Rebecca each received a message from the Game Master to go to Pumpkin Patch's house to look for clues. When they arrived, they split up to look for them. Stephen and Grace had to find a pumpkin, a piece of paper and some rocks. They found the pumpkin and smashed it open to discover a piece of paper with an address on it. Then they found some rocks in a pool which had these clues on them. Matt and Rebecca searched inside the house and found a black purse, a pumpkin with the letter C on it, and a box. Matt hid in the box when he heard Pumpkin Patch heading towards him. Then this happened. Wait, so the Game Master and Pumpkin Patch are working together? I didn't see that one coming, and neither did Rebecca and the sharers as they were all captured. The sharers and Rebecca woke up to discover they were locked inside jail cells. They had to work together to figure out a way to escape, and they realized Pumpkin Patch was working with the Game Master. Meanwhile, over in Las Vegas, Chad is still wanted by the FBI after Project Zorgo framed him as being the Game Master. Chad, V and Daniel come up with a plan to sneak into Project Zorgo's headquarters to see what they could find. Chad and V split up and one of the hackers tricked V into thinking Chad was on the walkie-talkie. He used V, who accidentally trapped Chad in an elevator. While Chad was stuck in the elevator, Project Zorgo was trying to get information out of him. Chad asked if he could go to the toilet, so the hacker released him for a little while. Chad used this opportunity to look for clues and found these. We figured out the answer was Paul, and made a community post last night for you guys to let Chad know the answer. A lot of you also noticed this hidden clue. Now this has got a lot of people thinking that Jake Paul has something to do with Project Zorgo. I mean, it is a bit weird that the answer to the clue is Paul and Chad found a Jake Paul cushion, don't you think? So do you guys think he's working with Project Zorgo or could he be their next target? I believe that the target channels are getting closer to stopping Project Zorgo with help from you guys. We need to keep watching their videos to look out for clues. That way we can help the target channels figure out a way to stop the Doomsday date and save YouTube. Thank you for helping find the clues so far guys, you guys are like super spies. I'll link the target channels down in the description so you can help look out for more clues. Also, check out some of my friends' channels because they've also been targeted. I'll be back with another update really soon. In the meantime, <laughs> thanks for watching, keep on spying, and I'll see you soon. Bye!